Hey, welcome to my mini teach for today. This is a short power pack teaching in less than 10 minutes. I've got to get moving today because we are covering a, a, a pretty decent length of scripture and some interesting content, concepts from the book of Proverbs, which is the most famous wisdom literature or book of, of wisdom in the Bible. All right. What we're going to do today is read through a passage in um, Proverbs, very famous passage. And I want to actually give you proper practical definitions and working definitions, if you will, for wisdom, knowledge and understanding, because these things are talked about frequently in the book of Proverbs in other places as well, like Ecclesiastes, but very much so in the book of Proverbs. So let's dive into the text. We'll start in verse one of chapter two. My son, if you receive my words and treasure my commands within you so that you incline your ear to wisdom and apply your heart to understanding. Yes, if you cry out for discernment and lift up your voice for understanding, if you seek her as silver and search for her as for hidden treasures, then you will understand the fear of the Lord and find the knowledge of God. For the Lord gives wisdom from his mouth come knowledge and understanding. He stores up sound wisdom for the upright. He is a shield to those who walk uprightly. He he guards the paths of justice and preserves the way of his saints. Then you will understand righteousness and justice, equity and every good path. And you can keep reading. It's really good. So the, the scripture in verse six, it says the Lord actually gives wisdom. We know that the book of James says any man lacks wisdom, let him ask of God. And he gives to all liberally and without reproach. So God actually gives wisdom, but from his mouth, which means something that is spoken, something that is taught, something that we need to actually um, lean into and uh, uh, learn, not just receive, is actually knowledge and understanding. So let's give a basic understanding of wisdom, knowledge and understanding. Now, wisdom is the principal thing. Later on in scripture, it says wisdom is the principal thing. Above all, get wisdom. Wisdom actually helps you to apply the knowledge and the understanding that you receive. So wisdom is like, think of it like a pyramid or a triangle and knowledge and understanding are down here in the foundational. But in order to actually have, you know, to, to have the peak, we have wisdom at the top. It is the principal thing. So in basic terms, knowledge is basically about facts. It's things that we know, um, you know, think, things that we receive and it grows over time from our experience, from our skill set, from gathering information. That's what knowledge is. And we grow in knowledge, right? Knowledge is a good thing. Um, this is not scriptural, but it's often said in the world, you know, in other circles and cultural circles that knowledge is power. And it is to a certain extent, the more you know, the more you are informed about what's going on around you. But knowledge by itself, and the scripture actually says this, knowledge by itself puffs up, puffs up and actually corrupts us. So we do not want to have knowledge devoid from the wisdom and understanding of God. So knowledge is essentially those facts, those skills, that information, the experiences we get over a life's journey that we gather and we should be growing in knowledge. There's nothing wrong with knowledge, by the way. The scripture says get knowledge, but we don't just want to get knowledge. We want to get understanding and above all, we need wisdom to apply it. So understanding is a little bit different then. So a knowledge is the information that we're gaining, the facts, if you will, but um, we need to actually um, understand that knowledge. We need to understand what it is that we've been taught, what we have received, um, in order to put it into action, we need to have understanding. I mean, we can know about God, but we need to press in an intimacy to have a greater understanding of his ways, his precepts, his heart. Now, that's really important because if we don't know God, we can misread or surface read the scripture and draw some conclusions about God that are not actually accurate because we don't know God and we don't have that deeper level of understanding of who he is. The understanding gives us the ability to translate the facts we receive from knowledge. So as I said, knowledge is facts, skills, experiences, understanding helps us translate those into a meaningful way um, within our own lives. The understanding of the Holy One um, allows us to, tr to, to, to make that real in our everyday lives. And this is so important for our relationship with God. But all of these things sit under the overarching principle of wisdom, 
which is how do we apply it? How do we walk it out? What do I actually do with the knowledge and now the understanding that I have? I need wisdom. Wisdom obviously grows over a lifetime, praise the Lord, because it's a grace gift he keeps pouring out upon us. One of the sevenfold spirits of God is the spirit of wisdom. And I often ask, spirit of wisdom, I need, I need some wisdom right now. He comes through, praise God, he answers those prayers. So I hope I've given you now a bit of a working understanding of wisdom, knowledge, and understanding because we are told to get all three. So let me know in the comments if this has helped you. Un understand the scripture tells us to cry out for these things, like a grab a hold of these things. If we want to succeed in life, and I've had previous mini teachings talking to you guys about the importance of wisdom, it's life, it'll set us on the straight and narrow, it will preserve our life, it will keep us from falling into the pit, then in order to grow in wisdom, we need the knowledge and the understanding as well. So let me know if this has helped you in the comments. Please share it if it has and hey i'd love to see you in my next mini teach blessings in abundance to you big day from down under see you next time bye